Alam nyo, nung nurse pa ako, I was working hard. Grabe, night shifts, long hours, parang hamster sa wheel. Feeling ko, I was doing everything right. Pero at the end of the day, halos napupunta lahat sa taxes yung kinikita ko. Ganyan ka rin ba? And also, I've been hearing so many people, especially in Canada, maybe even some of you, complaining about how high the taxes are. Parang every time you get your paycheck, ang laki agad ng kalta sa sweldo, di ba? Grabe, parang nakakapagod na. You work so hard, tapos feeling mo napupunta lang lahat sa taxes. Let me take you back to when I was working as a nurse. I was on the grind, just like so many of you. Every day, I'd work long shifts. Taking care of patients, working through the night, puro ako overtime. I was making good money. Pero by the time taxes and deductions were taken out, parang sobrang liit na lang ang natitira. Pag mag-overtime ako, kinukompute ko na kaagad ang magiging sahod ko. Palahati lang talagang napupunta sa akin. Naalala ko tuloy yung katrabaho ko dati. Na-receive na namin yung mga T-force namin. Andun lahat yung total income namin that year and also the deductions. Pinakita niya sa amin yung T-4 niya. Yabang niya nun. Sabi niya, ang laki ng income ko kung walang tax. <laughs> Tawa kami nun, no? Ganun ka rin ba? Let me tell you, when I started my first business that was real estate, it opened my eyes to how much control I could have over my income, especially when it comes to taxes. So here's the thing, guys. If you're employed, your taxes are automatically deducted from your paycheck, right? Kunyari, in Canada, you're earning $100,000 per year, which is decent money. But let's see what actually happens to that income if we break it down. First, there's the federal tax. On that $100,000 income, you would be taxed at different rates federally and provincially. For example, in Ontario, this would look like this. Federal tax is around $17,566.25. Provincial tax is around $7,135.66. So in total, that's approximately $24,701.91 in taxes right off the bat. Wala pa ang CPP at EI contributions dyan, which could be another 4,643.99. So when you combine all of that, ang laki ng bawas, di ba? You're left with about $70,000 after taxes and deductions. And that doesn't even include your living expenses yet. Now, let's switch gears. Let's say instead of being employed, you decide to start your own business. First of all, hats off to you. It's not easy, but trust me, it's worth it. And one of the major reasons is tax savings. When you're a business owner, you have more flexibility with your income because you get to deduct business expenses before paying taxes. Meaning, all the costs you have to keep your business running like office space, supplies, travel expenses, internet, even part of your home utilities, pwede mong ibawas sa gross income mo. Basta lahat ng expenses mo for your business, pwede mong i-deduct. Let's look at an example. Sabihin natin na kumikita ka pa rin ng $100,000 per year, but this time, business owner ka na. You have business expenses worth, let's say, $20,000. This means, ang taxable income mo is now reduced to $80,000 instead of $100,000. Federal tax on $80,000 is around $13,465. $0.26. Provincial tax is around $5,301.52. CPP as a self-employed individual is around $7,508.90. Ang total na babayaran mo sa tax and CPP is now around $26,275.68. Pero remember, you were able to write off those business expenses. So, technically, your effective tax rate went down. Compared to being employed, ang laki ng difference, right? That's around $3,000 in savings just from deducting your business expenses. And for that example, $20,000 lang ang binawas natin as business expense. Minsan, mas malaki pa dyan ang actual business expense, so mas bababa pa ang taxable income. And guys, that's just the beginning. But by the way, for my kababayans in the Philippines, the same idea applies. If you're employed, taxes are automatically deducted from your salary. But as a business owner, you can deduct business expenses and 
and potentially reduce your taxes just like in Canada. Here's where things get even more exciting. When I first started my online business, grabe ang daming gastos. Mga tools, website hosting, mga travel expenses for networking events, courses, mentorships. Pero you know what? Lahat ng yon naging business expense. I was able to deduct them which lowered my taxable income resulting in lower taxes. Let me give you an example. Nagbunta ako sa isang business masterclass sa States and that cost me about 15,000 US dollars for the membership ticket, travel, and accommodation. I brought my whole family with me, including my mother-in-law. Nakakatawa kasi my second baby was only months old at that time. And my husband and I needed assistance with the kids, so we brought my mom-in-law. Just a side story since naalala ko siya. The event was held in a hotel, and during that time, I was still breastfeeding my baby boy. So every two hours or during break time, I would go back to our room to feed him. Sobrang impressed nila sa akin. Kasi not only did I bring my whole family from Canada to the States to learn, but also how dedicated I was. Na I don't have any excuses. Sabi nga nila, di ba? Kung gusto, maraming paraan. So the majority of that expense, like the mastermind ticket, my travel and accommodation, not including my family's expenses of course, I was able to claim as a deduction. That's how powerful this is. Now let's talk about the other amazing benefits of having a business besides tax savings. Kasi maraming benefits pa talaga when you take the leap to become a business owner. Let's break it down. Number one is control over your income. As a business owner, you are not limited by salary. When you're employed, no matter how hard you work, limited lang ang kita mo. But as a business owner, your income potential is limitless. The more you scale your business, the more income you can generate. And that's all in your control. Second is scalability. One of the things I love about running a business is the ability to scale. Kapag may side hustle ka or small business, you can start small. But once na magamay mo na siya, you can grow that business exponentially. Kung dati, nagbibenta ka lang online ng mga small items, what if later you expand your product line or start selling digital products? The sky's the limit. Third is building wealth and assets. Having a business allows you to build wealth in ways na hindi kaya ng regular job. For example, if you invest in real estate through your business, that property becomes an asset that appreciates over time. You can also build passive income streams like rental income or dividends from investments. That's how many wealthy people do it. Fourth is personal and professional growth. Owning a business pushes you to learn and grow in many ways na hindi mo magagawa as an employee. Kasi you're constantly problem solving, innovating, and improving. Plus, you are learning skills that will serve you for life like financial management, leadership, and strategic thinking. Fifth is the flexibility and time freedom. Isa ito sa pinakagusto ko, yung sarili ko, yung oras ko. Wala ng alarm clock. Nagigising ako sa oras na gusto ko. nag alarm clock lang kami kapag may rides kami kasi usually madaling araw kami umaalis at pag may biyahe. Owning a business gave me the flexibility to set my own schedule. Now, I get to spend more time with my family and kids. I can work from anywhere, at any time, on my own terms. Six is building a legacy. Ito ang pinaka-importante sa akin. When you build a business, hindi lang siya para sa'yo. You're building something na pwede mong ipasa sa mga anak mo. That's why I always say, start a business that can outlast you. Something that will benefit your children and future generations. Now, I know it can seem overwhelming to start a business. Pero let me tell you, hindi naman kailangan na big time ka agad. You can start small, pwedeng side hustle, or kahit small scale online business. What matters is, nagkakaroon ka ng additional stream of income. And at the same time, binabawasan mo ang tax burden mo. May myth kasi na business is only for the rich. Naniniwala ka ba doon? It's not actually true. The reality is, you start a business to become rich. 
Imagine this, hindi ka na lang basta-basta kumikita ng pera, pero nakakatipid ka pa sa taxes. Alam ko starting a business isn't easy, pero trust me, it's one of the best decisions I've made. I was able to take control of my time, my money, and my future, and I want the same for you. So if you're feeling like you're stuck paying too much in taxes, maybe it's time to explore starting a business. It doesn't have to be huge right away, but every step you take could save you so much in the long run. If this helped you, comment below. Anong klaseng business ang iniisip mo? Let's inspire each other! Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell para you never miss a video that could help you grow. Now that you know this, watch this next.